Ahoy there, and welcome to She Sails Solo. I'm Reagan, a certified yoga teacher and water woman. In July of 2022, I decided to follow my dreams and move across the country with my adopted dog, Ozzy, to move on to my 40-foot warm catamaran Kikapoo that I got for a dollar. The boat had been left sitting in the marina for about eight years and was in need of a lot of love. With a tight budget and the help of a few friends and strangers, I'm now living in the middle of a construction zone on the water. Although I only have a little boat building experience, I'm taking things one step at a time as I share the highs, lows, and overall reality of boat ownership as I prepare Kikapoo to sail around the world. If you'd like to help keep the project afloat, please consider supporting us on Patreon for access to exclusive content and yoga classes. Now, let's cast off the lines and set sail into this week's episode. As the winter chill sets in around me, I find myself spending more and more time in the galley. It's hard to stay warm. I can only turn on the heater occasionally as not to overwhelm the single outlet from shore that is currently the only thing powering my boat, and I can't bundle up too tight, or it's challenging to move about in the narrow halls or through the even slimmer companionways. I'm not the only one that's struggling. Karen's set to fly home for the holidays to avoid as much cold and rain as possible, and Ozzy has taken more trips down the ladder in the past week than any other time since getting the boat. The epoxy also struggles more in the cold. I've had to start strategically planning repairs on days that it doesn't rain so I can finally patch holes so it doesn't leak when it rains. Needless to say, checking and emptying the bilge has become a near daily job. So Karen, Ozzy, and I are here having a few drinks. We thought the weather was going to be pretty nice today, um, but it's starting to drizzle, which sucks because I have um, pieces to uh, fill in the holes on my boat covered in epoxy. And they were supposed to dry while we got drinks and now it's drizzling. Let me show you something. It's the construction zone in here. So we have um, braces, basically, from a paper towel roll, propping it up while it sits. So I screwed these in, but then it pushed it too far, so we had to unscrew it. So we'll do that again later. And the screws are too long because I don't, I didn't have the proper hardware, so I'll have to cut it off and then go back and fill it anyway. <laughs> so, but the good news is, is the fiberglass is on, so that should be dry by tomorrow when it rains. So we can do all of this tomorrow uh, from the inside. And we shouldn't be getting wet, hopefully. I think there's still probably a hole somewhere. <laughs> but I'm trying to fill right now and I literally can't see what I'm doing. Really, you're supposed to like cut it at an angle this way and an angle this way or like file it down. That's what you're supposed to do. Ain't nobody got time for that. Our wine is being so noisy. When you jokingly tell your friends that you look like a bubba. And they agree. <laughs> I ain't no bubba. I'm a sissy. <laughs> Tomorrow. So it's another rainy day. We only had like two days of good weather this week. Um, but during that time, as you saw, we got these patched. So I have hopefully no more leaks at least right here. So we're about to do demo on the starboard side. We're basically like pulling everything out because it's leaking like crazy. Um, so we're going to address all of that and then basically rebuild the inside. We are about to work on redoing this entire area. We have fun dismantling stuff, Jimmy? Yes, I've been having a wonderful time destroying <laughs> the boat. <laughs> so, but it'll get put back together hopefully soon enough. But with rainy season coming, we'll have time to actually stay inside a little bit more and deal with this, so. You can't take all the time that you need. I know that you are We just finished tearing everything out. Um, it does not look good. It, in fact, looks quite bad. <laughs> um, so what it's looking like right now is that we might have to basically take the entire cabin top off. So let me explain. 
The cabin tops are located on the center of both halls and they're a raised area that allow for standing headroom when you're down below. If you look at them from the side, you'll notice this little ledge that extends past the windows to form these little shelves that are on the inside, which are all completely rotten. There are a few other areas around the cabin top that have rot, so it might just be easier to remove it, build a new one, and put it on, but I'm not exactly sure yet. Two hours later. So it's a night of finding the rot. Um, like part 1000, we found so many areas of rot. But I'm on my like fourth glass of wine and for entertainment, we're just watching the water just drip down and it's not even raining outside. Karen, how do you feel living in a boat that is this luxurious? I love it. You know, I feel like a queen. I feel like a little, I feel pampered, honestly. Like, it's just too much. There's nothing better. It's I know. too much. It's I too spoil much. you. Yeah. Really, I really can't stand it. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> so it's Monday morning, editing Reagan and Ozzy coming at you from the bed. Um, this is where I edit all the videos. I hope you liked the video this week. I worked really hard um, on putting it together. I tried my hand at like animations and added a little meme in um, just to like keep it a little bit more interesting. Um, so yeah, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little intimidated right now. Um, it just sucks because we're entering rainy season even when it's not rainy, rainy season. Um, the weather kind of sucks here. It's windy and cold, like, most of the time, which, like, if you're living in a house is great. If you're working on an open deck catamaran is absolute trash. Um, none of the places in the bay really want to haul me, and the people that, like, grudgingly agreed to, um, I can't afford. So, I'm basically, like, stuck in this really crappy situation um i really need to be putting electrical into the boat all of that's supposed to come in today uh, but if i'm removing the cabin tops that's not really an ideal time to be doing that so i don't know if that's something that i want to deal with right now or if i can wait on realistically will it sink the boat probably not um but due to other concerns like i might have to go ahead and do it but if I were to fix it how it needs to be, like both the masks need to come down, the beams need to be removed. Um, I need to re-glass the seams and probably rebuild the cabin tops. And that is just not something that I want to do here. So um, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe so you can stay updated with the refit. Um, and yeah, if you're interested in helping out a little bit more, it would mean the absolute world to me. Um, if you signed up to support us on Patreon, think of it as like a chip, a tip jar where you get like little exclusive content and stuff for helping us out. So I have all of my yoga classes up there as well as other things for the different tiers. So um, please go check that out. I'll have it linked in the description. Um, and if you just want to type it in, it's patreon.com slash she sells solo. So thank you so much. And I will see you guys next week for an update.